Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel. Pelau, one pot dish with rice, meat, usually chicken, and pigeon peas. Pelau is a popular one pot dish in Trinidad and Tobago that features a flavorful combination of rice, meat, often chicken, and pigeon peas. It is known for its rich, savory taste and vibrant color. Here's a basic recipe for making chicken palau. Ingredients, two cups rice, two labias chicken cut into pieces, one cup pigeon peas, fresh or frozen, one large onion, chopped three cloves garlic, minced one sweet pepper, chopped one medium carrot, diced one cup pumpkin, diced two sprigs thyme, two cups coconut milk, three tablespoons vegetable oil, two tablespoons soy sauce, one tablespoon Worcestershire, sauce, salt, and pepper to taste two cups water. Instructions. In a large pot or deep skillet, heat the vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chicken pieces and brown them on all sides. Once the chicken is browned, add the chopped onion, minced garlic, sweet pepper, and thyme. Saute until the vegetables are softened. Stir in the soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce, coating the chicken and vegetables evenly. Add the rice to the pot and stir to combine with the other ingredients. Pour in the coconut milk and water. Bring the mixture to a boil. Add the pigeon peas, diced carrot, and pumpkin. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Reduce the heat to low, cover the pot, and let the pelau simmer until the rice is cooked and the chicken is tender. This may take about 25-30 minutes. Occasionally, check the pot and add more water if needed to prevent sticking or burning. Once the rice is cooked and the liquid has been absorbed, fluff the palau with a fork and remove it from the heat. Serve the palau hot and enjoy the flavorful combination of rice, chicken, and vegetables. Palau is often enjoyed at gatherings, celebrations, or simply as a comforting and hearty meal. The cooking process and ingredients may vary slightly based on personal preferences and regional variations. Shrimp or fish, acra. Deep-fried fritters with shrimp or fish. Acra is a popular Caribbean fritter made with a seasoned batter and various ingredients, such as vegetables, seafood, or meat. Shrimp or fish. Acra is a delightful variation that features shrimp or fish as the main protein. Here's a basic recipe for making shrimp or fish acra. Ingredients. One cup all-purpose flour, one teaspoon baking powder, one two teaspoon salt, one four teaspoon black pepper, one four teaspoon cayenne pepper, optional for heat, one cup finely chopped or grated shrimp or fish, yiki one two cup finely chopped onions, one four cup finely chopped bell peppers, any color, two cloves garlic, minced one teaspoon thyme leaves, one two cup water, adjust as needed for batter consistency. Vegetable oil for frying instructions. In a bowl, whisk together the flour, baking powder, salt, black pepper, and cayenne pepper. Add the chopped shrimp or fish, onions, bell peppers, garlic, and thyme to the dry ingredients. Mix well to combine. Gradually add water to the mixture, stirring continuously until you achieve a thick, smooth batter. In a deep skillet or frying pan, heat vegetable oil over medium-high heat. Once the oil is hot, use a spoon to drop spoonfuls of the batter into the oil, forming small fritters. Fry the acras until they are golden brown and crispy, turning them to ensure even cooking. This usually takes about three to four minutes per side. Use a slotted spoon to remove the acras from the oil and place them on paper towels to absorb excess oil. Repeat the process until all the batter is used, working in batches. Serve the shrimp or fish acra hot as a delightful snack or appetizer. These acras are often enjoyed with dipping sauces, such as tamarind sauce or hot pepper sauce. The combination of the seasoned batter and the savory shrimp or fish makes for a tasty and satisfying treat. Adjust the seasonings and spices according to your taste preferences. Mango Chow, chopped mango seasoned with pepper, garlic, and other spices. Mango Chow is a popular and refreshing Trinidadian dish that features ripe mangoes seasoned with a flavorful combination of spices. 
it's often served as a snack or a side dish. Here's a simple recipe for making mango chow. Ingredients. Three ripe mangoes, peeled and diced. One small red onion, finely chopped. One small hot pepper, scotch bonnet or habanero. Finely chopped one four cup, chopped cilantro or shadam bani, culantro. One clove garlic, minced one tablespoon olive oil. One teaspoon roasted ground cumin. One teaspoon roasted ground gira, ground roasted cumin and coriander mix. Salt and pepper to taste juice of one lime or lemon instructions. In a large bowl, combine the diced mangoes, chopped red onion, hot pepper, cilantro, and minced garlic. In a small bowl, mix together the olive oil, roasted ground cumin, roasted ground gyera, salt, and pepper. Pour the spice mixture over the mango mixture and toss everything together until the mangoes are well coated. Squeeze the lime or lemon juice over the mango mixture and toss again to combine. Allow the mango chow to marinate for at least 15-20 minutes to let the flavors meld together. Taste and adjust the seasoning, adding more salt, pepper, or lime juice if needed. Serve the mango chow chilled as a refreshing snack or as a side dish to complement a variety of main courses. Mango chow is known for its vibrant and zesty flavors, combining the sweetness of ripe mangoes with the heat of the pepper and the aromatic spices. It's a delightful and easy-to-make dish that captures the essence of Trinidadian cuisine. Adjust the level of spiciness according to your taste preferences. Palmy Cythera Chow Seasoned Green Mango Slices Palmy Cither Chow refers to a dish made with palmy cither, which is the local name for the green mango in Trinidad and Tobago. Similar to mango chow, palmy cither chow is a tangy and flavorful dish that involves marinating green mangoes with various spices and seasonings. Here's a simple recipe for making palmy cither chow. Ingredients. Three green mangoes, peeled and diced, one small red onion, finely chopped one small hot pepper, scotch bonnet or habanero, finely chopped one four cup chopped cilantro or chadonbini, culantro, one clove garlic, minced one tablespoon olive oil, one teaspoon roasted ground cumin, one teaspoon roasted ground gara, ground roasted cumin and coriander mix, salt and pepper to taste juice of one lime or lemon instructions. Peel the green mangoes and dice them into bite-sized pieces. Place the diced mangoes in a large bowl. Add the finely chopped red onion, hot pepper, cilantro, and minced garlic to the bowl with the mangoes. In a small bowl, mix together the olive oil, roasted ground cumin, roasted ground gara, salt, and pepper. Pour the spice mixture over the mango mixture and toss everything together until the mangoes are evenly coated. Squeeze the lime or lemon juice over the mango mixture and toss again to combine. Allow the pomacy there chow to marinate for at least 15-20 minutes to allow the flavors to meld together. Taste and adjust the seasoning, adding more salt, pepper, or lime juice if needed. Serve the palm cither chow chilled as a refreshing and tangy side dish. This dish offers a delightful combination of tartness from the green mangoes, heat from the pepper, and aromatic spices. It's a popular choice in Trinidad and Tobago, especially during the mango season. Adjust the spiciness and seasonings according to your taste preferences. Cassava Pone Sweet dessert made with grated cassava, coconut, and spices. Cassava Pone is a popular Trinidadian dessert made with grated cassava, coconut, and various spices. It has a dense, cake-like texture and a sweet, aromatic flavor. Here's a basic recipe for making cassava pone. Ingredients. Four cups grated. Cassava, one cup grated coconut, one cup brown sugar, one to two cup melted butter, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, one two teaspoon ground nutmeg, one two teaspoon ground ginger, one four teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one cup coconut milk, raisins or currants, optional for added texture. Instructions. Preheat your oven to 350 de gaff, 175 de size, and grease a baking dish. In a large mixing bowl, combine the grated cassava and grated coconut. 
In a separate bowl, mix together the brown sugar, melted butter, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, ground ginger, salt, and vanilla extract. Add the sugar and spice mixture to the grated cassava and coconut. Mix well to combine. Gradually add the coconut milk to the mixture, stirring continuously to create a thick, smooth batter. If desired, fold in raisins or currants for added texture. Pour the batter into the greased baking dish, spreading it evenly. Bake in the preheated oven for approximately 45 to 60 minutes, or until the top is golden brown and a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. Allow the cassava pone to cool before cutting it into squares or slices. Serve the cassava pone at room temperature as a delicious dessert or snack. Cassava pone is loved for its unique texture and sweet, spiced flavor. It's a traditional Trinidadian treat that showcases the use of cassava, a starchy root vegetable, in Caribbean cuisine. Adjust the sweetness and spices according to your taste preferences.